I would watch his life on Facebook and be like, this is amazing. He traveled the world. He got married. He had kids. I'm like, am I the idiot? And like, kind the evidence of. was like, <laughs> yeah, evidence. quite possibly, Michael. Quite possibly. This is Dalton plus Michael. And today we're going to talk about should you bootstrap or should you start a VC backed company? This is like a confusingly controversial topic. Yeah. I'm not really sure why it's controversial. Well, it's one of those sort of one-sided things where a lot of people don't care <laughs> about the topic versus people that care a lot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I think there's a lot of people that strongly identify and are really excited about bootstrapping yeah. that are very like fired up about this. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that this just isn't a topic that comes up much. Yeah. The place we should start, I think, is that the vast majority of businesses um, should not raise venture capital. And I'll extend that point. Venture capital is not interested in investing yeah. in the vast majority of businesses. So like one of the things I think founders get really screwed up on is that VCs have become a little bit more marketing-y, right? Talking to people. And they might be confused. Well, I want to start a restaurant. VCs don't want to fund your restaurant. Yes. Well, I think another thing that's confusing as a, as a side note is a lot of the stuff on Shark Tank Oh, yeah. I would argue is yeah. not venture capital backable. You know, a lot of the stuff that I see on the television show, yeah. you would never in a million years be able to raise VC from it. And so no. I think you watch Shark Tank and you think that that is no. reality. It's not this industry. So I think that um, that's the first thing is that if you're starting a business that can appear on Shark Tank, for the most part, you probably shouldn't raise yeah. venture capital. Um, but I think there's actually like a deeper thing here which is that let's say you want to start a startup business. You don't have to raise venture capital either. Correct. And I'll say the same thing. I don't believe venture capitalists want to invest in all software businesses. And I don't believe all software founders should raise venture capital. Yep. So. Yeah, let's talk about the math. Yeah. I think what's really going on um, is I think if you looked at how many businesses are started every year. Yes. What percentage of those are venture funded? Cool. <laughs> we could ask ChatGPT, but I would guess definitely yeah. single digits, if not less than 1%. Yes. And so if you just look at businesses that are started in the world, yes. it is like a weird outlier freak occurrence yes. that is a VC funded business. Very outlier. And so, but I think if you're just consuming content, you're, you're watching media, you're watching YouTube, Twitter, you, you don't realize that. Yeah. Okay. And Venture capital as a product is specifically for investing in something where their investment could be worth at least a hundred times more, if not a thousand times more. Yes. And so trying to put that jet fuel into something yes. that um, isn't going to grow to be big, everyone is going to be sad and lose. Yeah. And so you shouldn't do it. The like founder no one, and the investor. No, no one's going to win. And the user. <laughs> no one. No one no wins. One wins. <laughs> no one wins. And so again, like I don't think that there's this push that I can see from, from investors to try to convince people to raise VC money no. um, for something that is not, has like no chance of, of growing like that. It just doesn't make sense for anybody. Okay. I'll go a step further. I think the whole argument is fake news, right? I don't think this is a, a, a real argument, right? I don't think that anyone thinks it's more moral or good or right to start a VC packed company or a non VC packed company. I don't think this is an actual debate. Yeah. I think that like starting a VC backed company really hard, not the best way to get rich, not and the best way. Relatively small number. Like the yeah. numbers are not yeah. huge, not a good path. Like I always like to equate it to like athletics. It's like getting into the NBA is really hard. <laughs> like not like the best path to have a good career is to be like, oh, I'll just, just, hold on, I'll just make the NBA. Yeah, that's simple, right? Yeah, yeah it's like it's great... 450 guys, I'll just be one of those guys, <laughs> and then game on, right? Right? They recruit from all around the world. <laughs> yes, I live in the world. <laughs> yeah, very straightforward, yes. I like that point. Yeah, no. So it's, this is not the only way to get rich. Let's take a further step. Most people who are rich did not raise venture capital dollars. Yeah, that's right. Did not start companies. Real estate investing, stock market investing, yeah. being lawyers, being doctors. Again, yeah. go Bankers, look up the numbers. investors. <laughs> yeah, there's so many people, right? So this is not the only way to get rich. I think the other thing that's funny is like, there is no one trying to force you or cajole you into starting a VCU-backed company. Like if you don't want to do it, don't, don't do it. Correct. It's also a decision that you can revisit. 
if you don't want to start a VC back company now, but like your bootstrap product starts doing well and you want to do it in the future, great. You can. There's no one who is going to say no. You said you were bootstrapped on Twitter. <laughs> I will not give you money. Like, no. I'll get another truth. Empirically, none of the trillion dollar software companies um, are bootstrapped with no VC dollars ever. Yeah. So if, you, if someone's telling you you can make a trillion dollar company, maybe you can. <laughs> Just no one's ever done it. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'll and, say fact based. And again, like to look at the numbers, even if you look at software companies, yeah, even if you look at iPhone apps, if you actually did an audit of the App Store and you yes. said what percentage of the apps in the App Store are VC backed, it is tiny. Tiny, tiny. But if you said what percentage of dollars that are spent in mobile apps Went go to into VC backed companies, I think that that's very right because dollars are going into. Amazon and eBay and like all that yeah. kind of stuff, right? Yes. And by the way, I don't, I, I want to be clear. Neither of us are saying you should want to make one of those companies. Yes. Like, or you that should, should want... come from inside of you. Exactly. Not from YouTube. No, no. <laughs> right? Like, I actually kind of try to convince people not to. <laughs> it's like... Well, if you, it is because if you need to be talked into it, that's a, that's that's a sign. bad sign. Yeah. So I like to talk about why it sucks. Yeah. So um, I think the other thing is that. No one is trying to say in our industry that if you make a great software product that allows you to make enough money to live a good life and it's not PC backed, that you haven't won. You won. Yep. Like I had a friend who made one of these companies. Um, you might have used his product. His product generated about thirty to fifty thousand dollars a month and took about seven to ten hours a month of maintenance. Mm -hmm. The entire time I was working on my startup, he was living life <laughs> like i would watch his life on facebook and be like this is amazing he traveled the world he got married he had kids i'm like he won like that's like like good for him like there's no yeah. like, like you... again this is the one-sided thing <laughs> yeah. is that we're like great yes. like we're like high-fiving yes. that that's dream amazing. versus yeah. that there's this um no. two-sided battle 97 percent of the time i was watching that facebook i was like am i the idiot and like kind the evidence of. was like <laughs> Quite possibly, Michael. <laughs> Quite possibly. Yes. Um, and he's still doing great, right? And so, like, this is really clear. It's like building a great small business, software, small software. Even business. the term small uh, bothers people. It's just non venture back. Yeah, non venture back. It could be big. Yeah, non venture back. You're making millions and millions of dollars. Yes, totally fine. I think the other thing that's kind of maybe a dirtle, dirty kind of underbelly here is who is spurning this argument? Like, who, yeah. who is. Who, who's incentivized for this to be a big issue? Yeah, I think that this has been just like a topic that gets a lot of engagement online. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, if you want to get people agitated about something, this yeah. is a pretty good topic. And then you can use it to promote stuff. And so, yeah, I'm not going to name any names, but I can think of folks over the years yeah. that are like kind of um, built a following yes. around encouraging people to do this. And to the extent it is helpful and more people are improving their lives doing it, that's great. Yes. But there's a little bit of like creating a fake controversy and then <laughs> and then monetizing it. A little bit. And so maybe maybe people may have this question watching this video. Michael, why should I apply to YC? Like why, why should I do a venture? You guys just did a great job of explaining why not to do it. Well, why, why should I do venture? So I think that... Um, there are some businesses where you actually need money up front. Yes. And if you need money up front and you're building a software business, the venture capital industry can help you get money up front. If you don't need it, don't take it. Yes. I think that what's so interesting about this is that um, there aren't many other good mechanisms. Like if you need millions of dollars or $10 million to get your company to break even. Yeah. There aren't other mechanisms no. in our economy to give that to you. If you're Let's use an example company. of Google. I don't know, just because yeah, famous, yeah, yeah. one of yeah. the most viable companies in the world. Yeah. You know, I don't know how you could have bootstrapped that. And so again, maybe the audience is saying, well, I don't want to build Google. Great. You don't, no don't one is saying Google. you have to build Google. But if Google <laughs> wants to build Google. <laughs> <laughs> but if the founders of Google want to build Google. Yeah. It doesn't seem mathematically possible. There's no route they could have done it no without bank. raising money. Yeah. There's no loans they could have gotten to buy no. the servers and do the things they did. No, no. And so we should just be thinking about VC as enabling incremental entrepreneurship 
that wouldn't be around otherwise. Yep. Not as cannibalizing anything. Like it's just enabling that incremental founder. I think the other thing is you have to remember if you want to raise a lot of money, but you can't explain to the investor why you might IPO and give them a lot of money back, then you you can't raise VC. We want to be explicit. Like it is a business transaction. It's not a faith transaction. Correct. It is, it is, I give you money now, you give me a lot more money later, or at least you try really hard to. And if you can try really hard, but the result can't be a lot of money, I shouldn't logically give you money now. Not because I don't like you or because yeah. you're not a great person or these users you're trying to serve aren't great. It's just because it's not a good business transaction. It's literally nothing personal. And I think sometimes founders kind of are very confused when VCs say no. Well, it's because, again, if we're, if we're trying to stoke outrage, you let's, point, let's stoke some outrage. You point at something silly that yeah. raised a lot of money. Yes. The most extreme silly thing in no, the no, world. No, no, no. You always pointed you, Sarah. That'd be one. <laughs> right? Or yes. we were, whatever. Like you point yes. to something that yes. is like on face silly. Yes. And then you say, well, if they funded that, why won't they fund my social network for dogs? Yes. Okay. And so it causes a lot of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. And I understand, I relate, but it's don't fall for the rage pill. Yeah. Don't let yourself get enraged by obvious engagement bait, yes. which is to cherry pick the craziest, silliest thing yes. and use that to get all worked up yes. and take that personally, like that somehow hurt you, like, no. like you were hurt by that thing over there happening. Well, and what's <laughs> so funny is like you are actually included on the real truth, real truth, which is that they screwed up. <laughs> Someone messed, up. someone messed up. Like, you're right. They shouldn't have gotten there. that money. Like, you, you, you nailed it. Like, that person who funded that company is an idiot. And you're exactly right. But like, hey, that doesn't mean we All should. All bets are off. Yeah. It's like, okay, this dumb thing happened. Therefore. Up is down. Black, yeah. like, like, forget everything we know. Yes. Those don't, those, yes. that doesn't follow. That yes. logic doesn't make yes. sense. That person should probably be uh, spoken to <laughs> about their investment strategy. So yes, yeah, so just understand that game. And I have to be honest, like, I like games like this. Like, I don't like games where you have to like convince people to like you or to align with your views. Those are games that are way harder to play. I like games where it's like, hey, if I want to serve this customer and you can be a good legal partner to me and I give you money and you give me legal services. You can be a good funding partner for me. I give you a check of my company, you give me cash, right? If you can be a good partner to me, a simple to understand partner to me so that I can spend my time working with my customer, that's what I want. Yeah. The customer's complicated enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the customer's complicated enough. I like the idea that the money people are like, so if I give you this money, maybe you give me a lot of money back? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. End of conversation. I give you money, you don't give me any money back? No. No good. <laughs> come back when I <laughs> come back when this is out that way. Hopefully this helps clear up the debate, but I secretly hope this like, I don't know, like doesn't at all. Because this <laughs> this is like so silly. Uh, I hope we get somehow flame word for this. Anyways, great. Good chat. Love it. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks.